Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Hope you're all keeping well. Currently I'm in lockdown at the moment, so we're not very happy. <clears throat> but anyway, we've been pretty lucky here in Western Australia. So I can't grizzle about it too much. <clears throat> so, new bit of kit today. So for those that are following my videos, as they've been setting up a uh, sort of a dream kit for my uh, hobo type reels. So I wanted <coughs> a water filled float. That will do uh, multiple tasks. So, mostly for me, floats have been these uh, clip-on type of guys, and they're a bit of a pain. <clears throat> they are adjustable, but I mean, they do one thing, that's all they do do. And they've got a habit of making the line go curly if you try and adjust them, so in that respect, a bit of a pain. So I came across these uh, adjuster bubbles. So they're made by Rainbow Plastics out of America. So I had to order these, because I live in Western Australia, of course. <coughs> and they look the bomb. So they're a, a plastic float with a uh, what looks like um, bicycle valve tubing through the middle of it. So it allows you to um, fill them as a, uh, with water to give them extra weight. So if you're you know, camping, hiking, you don't need to carry pre-weighted stuff and <coughs> full of water, they're actually a sinker. So it's sort of that multiple um, use type of arrangement. So as a way to float, it would give them the ability to, uh, to fish fishing flies with them, which is a great option, and to uh, cast a lot further. So currently I came up with three sizes. I came up with the mini, which is this one here, so I've got them being clear and chartreuse, I think. So dry, this weighs four grams, and full of water, which becomes a sinker at that point, is seven. The uh, three sixteenths, which is this one, probably the sweet spot for me for my hobo reels. Dry, it's five grams, and full at nine. And the biggest one I got was a quarter ounce, which was uh, six grams dry, and full at 14, so quite a solid. Now that's too heavy for most of my ultralight um, trout fishing rods, but for other stuff, and certainly for the hand lines, it'll be a good option. So, um, really couldn't be any much simpler to use. So from the from the rod or the reel, you come in from the uh, the slim end. You insert your line straight through the rubber tube comes out the other end. So you lift this end cap up. Now there is a, a keyway on it. So give it a couple of twists. You see the internal tube is uh, twisted and it is rock solid. No assholes there. Then it allows you to, uh, to tip water in there to set the weight. And what I like about it is there's no effect on the line, so that's brilliant for <coughs> adjusting the depth of rigs and what have you. So I think it's going to be a great addition to my uh, survival hobo style fishing. It may even be able to cut down on my larger kit some of the extra sinkers I'm carrying, which would be a bonus as well. Anyway guys, I hope you like that one today. If you feel like subscribing, it's totally free and it helps me out greatly. We'll catch you next time.